Well, it was a pretty impressive weekend of rain and some pretty chilly temperatures, and those clouds pushing out this morning was the last bit of moisture that we're going to see for a while, but the clouds are going to be sticking around. The atmosphere is definitely on the recharge right now as we get ready for the next wave of severe weather, but it's looking like a couple thunderstorms here in the Concho Valley. Watching those temperature changes really change over the last 24 hours, leveling in those upper 40s last night. Now we're up into those 70s as those clouds push out of the way, and we're going to hold on to some of that heat with those southerly winds as we get down into the 60s tonight. Tomorrow looking like we're going to hang out in those 80s and those 90s throughout the rest of the week. 77 here in St. Angelo. Everybody else joining us in the 70s. Not that much of a difference. That's because the humidity is doing some pretty good mixing right now. The severe weather ingredients are getting pretty strong. Looking at 6 degrees across the entire region. 73 in Sterling City. 79 in Junction. Pretty comfortable across the entire region. And when we're talking about the dew points, at least the moisture content across the entire region, we're seeing dew points down in those comfortable 40s, if not those upper 40s, while those humidity indices are in those 30s and those 40s. So it's not really feeling that humid, but it could be on the rise by tonight. Again, the southerly winds definitely settling in this upper level pattern, pulling a lot of that moisture up to the north. This is going to be that passing low pressure system that's going to continue to pull this moisture. And then we're going to see that pushing down and that ridging really warm us up all week. But we have our eye on this low pressure system making its way in by the weekend. That's where we can see some of those severe weather ingredients push through. Then we see another low develop as a result of it. That's going to push us into those warm temperatures still, but still holding on to some of that severe weather with those higher winds, then everything sort of becomes zonal as we make our way into that last couple days of April, if not the beginning of May, really, already. Right now, we're watching the concentrations of blues. Look how strong that gets across the entire region. Then watch how strong it comes back up in the vertical column all the way up into South Dakota. Now, this level of blue by Thursday lets us know that's going to be pretty severe weather across this entire region as the atmosphere gets ready to set up for it. Right now, you can see how fast this low-pressure system is to the north. Again, in Montana, they're already seeing severe weather alerts for it. It's going to line up all the way along the Rocky Mountain Front Range, and it's going to make its way down into Texas as it follows down that cold front. Here's the future cast as you watch the circulation off the east coast. This is going to continue to pull these thunderstorms through Illinois all the way down into Arkansas. We're on the tail end of it, seeing that cloud cover return by Wednesday. A couple of thunderstorms pop up as a result. You can see that ridging through it. Again, keeping your eye right there around the northern parts of the Concho Valley as we see that ridging set up. Look at this interesting arc of severe weather that makes its way in by Thursday. Remember those returns? of blues. Well, this is where we're going to set up to see just how severe this is and then that cold, dry air right behind it with that low pressure following in behind. So tonight, holding on to some of that heat dropping down into the 50s, then tomorrow making a pretty good run into those 80s, if not those 90s. And we'll see if we don't see any of the, some thunderstorm activity as we make our way into the evening, but we're going to be hanging out in those 80s and 90s despite the cloud cover and those windy conditions all week. Take a good look as we wrap up April right now into those 80s with an opportunity for thunderstorms continuously throughout the week. Some pretty good severe weather their ingredients making our way into that weekend still holding on to the 90s and then as we wrap up april still in those 90s with those lows holding on to those 60s stay tuned we'll have more of the break you're watching ksan news at five